These two brothers thought that they could fish quietly. They hadn't spoken to each other in a while and thought that a shared love of fish would be the perfect time to get back together. But soon this fishing trip turned into a big nightmare because they weren't alone. Because these two brothers were spied by a dangerous creature that was sitting in the tall grass beside them. At first, they didn't notice anything. They were only thinking about catching the biggest fish possible. But then they heard and saw the rumbling of the tall grass. And by the time they could react to it, it was too late. The event that followed is so bizarre that virtually no one will believe these two men. Luckily, everything was documented. The sun was just beginning to rise over the horizon as brothers Justin and Derek arrived at the lake. It had been years since they'd gone fishing together and they were both looking forward to spending the day catching fish and catching up on old times. They had done everything together as children, but adult life gives less time for brotherly activities. They set up their gear on the shore casting their lines into the water as they chatted and joked. The morning was calm and peaceful with the occasional bird song in the distance. The lake was clear and calm, reflecting the blue sky and fluffy clouds. A perfect day for fishing. As the hours passed, the brothers had still caught zero fish, but they didn't care all that much in the end. They were just happy to be in each other's company. They shared stories from their separate lives. They talked about their childhood memories, the struggles they had faced, and the joys they had experienced. The day was perfect, and they were having the time of their lives. But unbeknownst to them, they were secretly being watched. As they sat on the shore, a large animal was spying on them from tall grass just beside them. Its eyes were fixated on the brothers and it was observing their every move. But somehow the two brothers did not seem to notice, at least not at first, but they were completely oblivious to the dangers lurking nearby. They continued to fish and chat, completely unaware of the predator that was watching their every move. As the afternoon wore on, the sky began to darken and the wind picked up. The brothers decided to stay for 30 more minutes and after that, they would pack up their gear and head back to the car. But that's when they heard a rustling in the grass. They decided to ignore this fact and that was a big mistake. Because the spy that was lurking there was just about to reveal itself. And if they would have really paid attention a little closer, they would have run away a long time ago. But it was too late to pay attention now. In the end, it was a passerby who saw the peering eyes in the tall grass. He took a photo of the two fishermen and saw the reflection of the intruder in his camera lens. Screaming, he tried to get their attention, but it was too late. The photographer dropped his camera and ran towards the duo. He just didn't realize his camera was still on. His lens fell to the ground, but his lens remained focused on the two fishermen. So, everything was captured on the camera and made for a terrifying minute of footage. The photographer ran towards the two men and all while he screamed from the top of his lungs. Run! Run for your lives! They heard the sound of the photographer, but for some strange reason they could not locate the danger he was screaming about. They looked around, but they could not see anything. The grass rustled as the intruder decided to proceed with the attack. However, the two men only realized then that they were not alone. So, it was up to the cameraman to save the day. This day seemed to end disastrously, but if the two men would have prepared a little bit better, everything could have been prevented. How could the two brothers have known what was coming? Brothers Justin, 58, and Derek, 63, lived near a nature's reserve with a lot of fish and they often went there individually to catch some trout. But this time, they teamed up and they decided to venture further into the wild in the hope that they would catch a bigger fish there. What they didn't expect, however, was that they would get the fright of their lives that day. They didn't catch any fish that day as they themselves were the ones to be hunted. They had been working hard all week and the weekend was the most relaxing time for them. They slept peacefully, packed their fishing gear, gave their wives a kiss on their cheek and headed for the agreed fishing spot. And at this point, their first mistake was already made. The two men would start this trip way too relaxed. The waters they had picked, the trout and their fishing rods were notoriously dangerous. A lot of large wildlife roamed here aquatic, but also land animals that could seriously injure the two brothers. And if they just did a little bit more research, they would have known to be better prepared for things that might go wrong. However, in the end, they could never have foreseen that this day would be anything but relaxing. But even before the day was over, the brothers were world famous in one big swoop. Justin was already in the predetermined spot when Derek walked in. 
with fishing gear under his arm. He walked to his brother with ease. He put down his stool near the water and greeted Justin. There was not a worry in the world for them, but here they already made their second mistake. When they arrived, they first should have scattered the area. It was a vast swamp like a place with many nooks and crannies for dangerous animals to hide in. If they would have left most of their belongings in the car and scattered their surroundings, they would have already spotted the intruder. The car would then have been pre-packed and ready for a quick getaway. But unfortunately for the two men, that was not the case. Derek's wife had won a cooking competition and Justin just had hurt his ankle at work. The conversation rumbled on about small talk until suddenly a sound came from the tall grass that should have alarmed the two fishermen. But Justin heard his ankle and Derek was simply too old to worry about the small things in life. They heard the sound a couple more times within that same half an hour, but every time they heard it, it bothered them less and less. By now, the photographer had joined the scene and saw the two men sitting in their comfy chairs from a distance. The passerby was there completely by accident. He was a bird watcher and followed a trail of very rare ivory-billed woodpeckers to this exact location. This man was well equipped for these surroundings. In fact, he had the tool that made the discovery already in his hands. The camera that followed the bird's trajectory perfectly accidentally crossed paths with the animal on the shore banks near Justin and Derek. The hairs on the back of his neck immediately jumped right up and his skin went from a soft pink to a pale white within seconds. There was no time to waste. He dropped everything that he had in his hands, including the camera that still happened to be on record, and rushed towards the two men. Screaming and waving, he tried to get their attention. At first, Justin and Derek didn't understand what was happening. They saw a man running towards them, waving his arms frantically, but they couldn't make out what he was saying. They thought he might be a crazy man or someone who had just lost his way. But as he got closer, they saw the fear in his eyes, and they realized something was wrong. Run, he yelled. There is something in the grass. The brothers were stunned. They had no idea what he was talking about. But then they heard the rustling of the tall grass behind them again. But the sounds did not end with just rustling this time. Justin and Derek both looked up. It was a sound they'd never heard before. A kind of hissing sound followed by a splash. The two decided to take a look. No fish they knew could cause such a big splash. Slowly they got up from their chairs and laid their fishing rods on the shore. With soft, careful passes, they walked in the direction of the tall grass, all the while the photographer tried to persuade them to run the opposite direction. But his screams fell on deaf man's ears. Carefully, step by step, the men walked through the tall grass along the shore. They looked around vigilantly, but could not discover a trace of the creature that had caused the splash. Did they just imagine it? Was this man running down the hill just actually crazy? But then they heard the hissing sound again. They were now just about 10 feet away from the source of the sound. The photographer had reached the men but stayed at a safe distance because he knew what danger lay in tall grass. He said run one last time but it was already too late. The rustling in the bushes and splashes to the water turned into visual movement. The hair on the back of their necks stood up and they felt the sweat break out on their foreheads. And then suddenly the creature revealed itself. It was a massive alligator, over 12 feet long, and it was charging straight at them. Its mouth was wide open, revealing its sharp teeth, and its eyes were fixed on the two brothers. Justin and Derek froze for a second, but their instinct took over. They turned and ran as fast as they could. The alligator chased them, its massive jaws snapping just inches behind them. They ran through the swamp, stumbling over logs and rocks, trying to stay ahead of the creature. They could hear its heavy breathing and its claws digging into the ground as it chased them. They knew they had to find a way to outsmart it or they would be its next meal. The brothers ran for about 10 minutes even though it felt like hours, their legs aching and their lungs burning. But they could not stop, not even for a second. They had to keep moving or the alligator would catch them. Finally, they saw a tree up ahead and they knew that was their only chance. They climbed the tree as fast as they could just in time. The almost retired Derek climbed up the tree with the speed of much younger men. And even Justin, who complained about his injured ankle, admitted that he didn't feel anything while climbing up the tall trunk of the tree. But now they had a new problem. They were stuck up at a tall tree with no possibility of coming down, because down there was their enemy waiting for them. The alligator tried to climb up the tree, but its massive body was too heavy. It could only reach up to the lowest branches, snapping its jaws and hissing in frustration. 
Justin and Derek clung to higher branches, panning and shaking with fear. They knew they were safe for the moment, but they didn't know how long they could hold out. A full hour passed and the brothers didn't dare to move. The sun had almost set, and in the darkness it would be hard for the brothers to see the alligator. Derek's phone had no signal and both their fishing gear were lost in the swamp. The photographer was gone and the brothers could not locate him. Their throats were dry, their stomachs empty, and their limbs were cold. Then they heard a sound that restored faith in humanity again. It was the honking of a car, and the man inside was the photographer who tried to warn them before. He did not flee the scene, but he ran to his car. He had equipment that could help them. He brought a spotlight with him, and he tried to use it to scare off the alligator. He shone the spotlight in the eyes, hoping to frighten it away. But the alligator was stubborn and didn't budge. Luckily, that was not all the photographer did. While he ran over to his car, he also called an emergency rescue team. It would have been foolish for him to take on an alligator by himself, but a team of professionals surely can help. The photographer tried to distract the alligator long enough for two brothers to be safe and the emergency team to arrive. Fortunately, they arrived within 15 minutes and they brought a team with them, including animal control officers. They tried everything to get the alligator to leave, but it refused to budge. In the end, they tranquilized it and transported it back to a nature reserve. The brothers were finally rescued and taken to the hospital for medical attention. They had scratches and bruises all over their bodies, but they were alive. They were grateful to the passerby and the emergency services who had saved their lives. And they were amazed that their whole ordeal had been captured on camera. The footage went viral and Justin and Derek became overnight sensations. They were interviewed by the news and appeared on talk shows. They were even offered free fishing gear and protective hunting equipment by various companies so they would be well prepared on their next fishing trip. But although the offers gave them a laugh, they both refused the handouts. They were just happy to be alive and together. They realized that nature can be dangerous and they should always be prepared for the worst. They promised each other that they would never go fishing without doing proper research and preparations first. And they would respect and honor the place they decided to visit next time. You never know what animal habit you disturb with your presence. And the alligator? It was taken back to a nature reserve where it could roam freely in peace. It could live out its life without being disturbed by clumsy fishermen and where it would no longer pose any danger to humans. But it was a warning to anyone who thought that they could go into the wild unprepared. Nature is beautiful but can be deadly if you're not careful. The two brothers continued to go fishing together, but they did so with a newfound respect for the animals and the environment. They shared their stories with others and warned them to be careful when venturing into the wild. They knew that their story was not just about surviving an encounter with an alligator, but about the importance of being prepared and respectful for the world around us. And where the two men and the people of the wildlife reserve came short in warning people, the viral video of the fateful day assisted them. Have you learned anything from the actions of these two brothers? We hope you've got some valuable life lessons out of this story, and the next time you plan your trip, you will also be well prepared because of it.